Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQuickBooks.com. This is for QuickBooks Desktop, and this is for job costing. Uh, we are do doing a series of videos on job costing. This is uh, part nine of our uh, job costing videos, and this has to do with uh, entering job related purchases, and you're going to write a check. Write a check. So you want to check out our uh, website. It's newquickbooks.com. And for the job costing, we have a separate uh, uh, page in here, uh, forward slash job debt costing. Here we go. This is the one. And we have already done uh, eight. And this one is number nine. So you want to check out all this before uh, understanding all the uh, steps you need to take. And uh, I'm going to be using uh, QuickBooks Desktop Premier 2017. So I'm going to be using QuickBooks Desktop Premier Accountant version, but uh, Premier 2017 uh, or Desktop Premier is the one recommended for job costing. So if you buy it from uh, uh, Amazon uh, right now, the price is $299.99. Uh, but if you buy it from uh, Intuit, uh, you can also buy direct from Intuit uh, at some around 350. They changed, they vary. Uh, you know, the last time it was 270, now it's up to 300. So, anyway, you may want to check out and you may want to bookmark this space newcookbooks.com forward slash job dash on uh, costing. Okay. And this video is uh, on YouTube brought to you by VP Controller. VP Controller. So, this is our YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to go to QuickBooks uh, Desktop. This is a, a Premier accounting, and if you have Premier, you may have a, a contractors, contractors edition, manufacturing and wholesale, a professional or retail or nonprofit. But uh, I'm using QuickBooks, uh, uh, you know, Desktop Premier accounting. So either way, uh, you know, if you want to use job costing. Contractor, manufacturing, uh, retail, or, or man, uh, professional, whatever, uh, will have all the uh, job costing features. Okay, so uh, this video, I'm going to write a check. I'm going to click write a check. So I'm, I'm assuming you you're pretty much familiar with writing a check at this point. And so the first thing you want to do is. Uh, uh, Everything you enter for job costing, you want to use item tabs. In here, as you can see, your expenses and items. So items tab, that's your buddy for job costing. Okay, so the more you use item cost for job costing, you don't have to allocate or you'll have more clear uh, profit and loss. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it'll show you how much you're making money, how much you're losing by job, uh, by items. Okay. So the difference between these two expenses is directly linked to your chart of accounts. Whereas items, you create items and then you map to your chart of accounts account. But these are the level of efforts. You can have, uh, you know, hundreds of level of efforts and just link to one uh, generalized uh, account. So these are the level of efforts in this case. So all you have to do is just select one. So you have to build up this. You have to watch uh, our videos. Uh, it will tell you how to set up item list. All right. Let's just say you went to uh, one one uh, vendor. Okay, vendor. Let's say uh, uh, car building supply, and you bought some stuff. Okay. So now you want to enter, and this is the writing a check. So writing a check is banking. Write a check or from home page. You will see write a check. Items. Just select items. From your list, let's say concrete and quantity. Let's say this is from your uh, vendor invoice, and we'll tell you how much you paid. Let's say this was five bucks. Okay, and then you select class. In this case, I have a class set up, and in this case, I want to use material cost. These are the materials you're using for your job, and then you select a customer job. So let's say this was this case uh, Campbell Heather House new construction that's your job and uh, and if it's billable uh, to your customers normally if you have a job you know you may either have like a, 
uh, fixed price uh, job or uh, or cost plus or just billable uh, uh, plus markup so let's say this is the fixed price okay uncheck that billable box you don't need that okay another one let's say uh, uh, machinery let's say about 20 let's say five bucks okay and the material class is still uh, uh, material let's see if you can solve job related setup that way and let's say the customer is still the same job is still the same okay so now you have hundred fifty dollars let's add another one let's say uh, some framing stuff let's say ten bucks okay same thing with a material cost and customer make sure to uncheck this box if it's not billable okay so uncheck that box all right got it so three hundred dollars let's say you went to car building supply and you bought three hundred dollars worth of these uh, uh, material and you have a level of effort set up uh, by items this is where you go and then you have a uh, class uh, set up and then you have identify uh, job by customer okay so if you have created a purchase order then you of course you select a PO in here and then uh, car bill supply that's the name of the vendor in this case I don't have a, a, a purchase order set up it's writing a check okay so now I'm just gonna save this and if you are writing a check, just write the check number and date. And the memo is like a, a, a vendor bill uh, reference number. All right, you can write anything you want. Uh, this is for your own internal purpose. Uh, or if you want to uh, print a check, then it will be helpful to your vendor as well. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to save and close. Okay, so now once you enter that, the, the the purpose of the job costings what will happen now all right i'm going to show you i have a few reports in here in job costing you have a couple of reports okay uh okay i have uh all these reports in here let's see here okay so first one let's say uh, you want to check is uh, purchase you just bought this from your vendor so in this case it will show you you know purchases by vendor as you can see here this is the report is purchases by vendor summary and here's a vendor all right so if you click it it will tell you the uh, all the details and if you click it that $300 total it will take you to the same right here custom detail transaction report okay and uh, so I'm gonna close this now purchases okay so the next report I have is a job profitability report so the, here is the job is the customer this is the one you will see exactly like this one just remember this one job profitability summary report this is a very important report so customers as you can see your customer center you will see the same way right it's right here and uh, so it's the report you know uh, similar to your uh, customer center in here and the actual cost if you click it actual cost this is where you will see your $300 expenses so it's a big list and you just have to select a date in here so if we remember the date, it was, uh, let's see if I can guess it. There we go, it's $300. So it will say job co actual cost detail. Okay. So this is the one. Okay, then the, the job cost class report. So this is the one with a spot like a $300 is split in here. See the source name. 
three hundred dollars in here. So this is by it's, it has to do with the uh, the material cost. See the road check split. So job cost class report and it, the material cost is job related. And here's a split. Okay, so item profitability report. This is like uh, uh, the, in your item list format. As you can see, if it is item list, so it'll give you uh, a you know profit level by your item list type. You know, so like for example, we we bought some machinery in here. Actual cost, it's it's lumped in here. Okay, well, this is for $100 for the missionary. And then, of course, the profit and loss by job. Okay, in this case, the job is this. Uh, house new construction is a job, and customer is Campbell Heather, which comes from here. Right here, house new construction, that's your job. Okay, split in here, as you can see, a material cost. You know, split everything in here. Okay. All right. So uh, basically, that's how you enter uh, write a check. That's with job related. Very simple. Write a check and select item list. And uh, assist items tag, tab, and then select the uh, uh, item list. Make sure to fill out uh, class. Make sure to fill out customer job and make sure to uncheck the billable box. That's it. As long as you have that, then you go to uh, your uh, few uh, uh, job cost reports. In this case, I have uh, these. Job, co job cost class report, purchases by vendor summary, profit and loss by job, item profitability, job profitability summary. You have few more, but you know, uh, these are the ones you want to check out on a regular basis. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. And so next video, I'm going to be uh, uh, entering a bill. So this is entering a bill, so creating accounts payable. Thank you for watching and, uh, uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channels. So youtube.com forward slash EP controller and uh, if you are into new uh, you, you QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Online, we have a separate channel just for QuickBooks Online, QBO, youtube.com forward slash new QBO.